to do is go fishing. So here, you can fish as much as you want. God, I cannot believe she left me. I literally don't even go fishing that much. Just on days end, but why? Well, at least she left my paddleboard here. So, I guess I should go get a line in the water. Just about everything that could have gone wrong went wrong there, but we got her in. Look at that. <laughs> Jesus. On that Bellows Gale 5.8, oh, just barely hooked too. Came right off. Alrighty. Got a nice 55 centimeters. We'll convert that later. Thank you, Super Bait, for the board. And see you, big girl. Nice way to break the skunk. How many days have I been out here? I don't even know where I am. I haven't even seen another person. I need water. I gotta keep going. I gotta find somebody around here. Holy shit! Fish tacos, you son of a bitch! Dude, what are you doing out here? Well, my woman dumped me down here and she took Ethel. She took Ethel? <laughs> we gotta get her back! Dude, how the fuck are we supposed to get back to Ethel right now? Well, she, lives, she lives in Middletown, right? Yeah, that's fucking 35 miles away. Yeah, 35 by river, so we got we better get going. Alright, dude. 35, alright. I just kept going. <laughs> oh shit! <Nice. laughs> is, it, is it a good one? Oh my god! <laughs> oh god! Biggest fish on Woody ever. <laughs> oh, he's coming. Oh no, not that. Jesus, dude, on the woody. On the woody. Oh my god. Sick. Got this big girl on the woody. Look at that. Just 
clobbered it on top. Put up a really good fight. River fish are so long. They have those big heads. Crazy looking. Well, Juan, I know you've been out here a few days. Where, where have you been getting water? I don't I see any. I don't, I'll show you. I'll show you. Look. I don't see any on your paddleboard. Look, well, I, I I got my trusty Yeti. All right. And uh, this nature's water fountain right here. Pure shit you can get. None of that fluoride that y'all drink. <laughs> really? Right here? Yeah. Well, you just find one of these. All right, I'm in. Oh, let me get some. Oh, it's out of water. All right. All right. And I was kind of just chopping it about 10 to 12 feet from the bank, and he came up and he fucking destroyed it. <laughs> He's pissed off. Oh, classic Juan's Fish Tacos. W. He's like, I had shade, I, I cover. Oh, hi, That's delicious little bluegill He's everywhere. I've eaten carp. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. <laughs> Nice. I'm sorry, buddy. On the woody. Probably gonna eat that one for dinner tonight. Uh oh. Today. Me? Yeah. Hundred percent. If you go, oh yeah, it makes it fucking up. There we go. First blood on the version 2 throwback glide. That is not a bad fish. Throw on the Leviathan extra heavy, 20 pound fluoro. Gets bit. There she goes. Nice. Four pounds, six ounces. Gotcha. Wow. Holy shit. Oh, look at that. Biggest fish of the trip so far on the woody. Just choked it all the way down there. Thinking that's a solid seven pounder. Leviathan finesse, 12 pound test, and the old woody. Coming soon. Oh, six, five. Really? <laughs> oh, dude, it's tiny. <laughs> See you, big girl. Six five. All right. Well, we pulled into our little private island here on the river. Humble abode. Pull up paddle boards. Got dinner right there. Got the cooker. 
our little sleeping area. We're not supposed to get any rain tonight. We did last night, but not a cloud in the sky, so hopefully we don't get rained on. <laughs> That's gonna make a pretty nice dinner. Now, I can already see it in the fucking news headlines. Homeless fisherman murders bass, he's awful. And you know, trust me, hear me out, hear me out. So, there's a good reason for taking two and three pounders out of a fishery. It's not harmful, as you would say, within reason, of course. Now, you don't wanna just slaughter every fish. But taking a fish or two is not bad. And the biggest reason is, you know, when you see people trying to build a pond to house like 10 pounders, you know, 15 pounders, they're trying to grow these big fish. They actually go in every year and cull every single one and two pounder. They go in there and they, they eat them. And it really relieves a lot of competition for those bigger fish. So taking little fish overall builds the fishery better, gets you bigger bass. So go keep some two pounders if you want. It's not a big deal. <laughs> All right, tonight's dinner we got Chef Wu, protein ramen, and a little bit of largemouth bass. Is that delicious or what, Juan? Delicious. Good morning, y'all. We are all packed up again, ready to hit another 10 miles today. We are about 13 miles in to this 40 mile journey. Gonna start the day out with a little yerba. Here's yerba. cheers to a better day. And if you'd like to get yourself some yerba natural caffeine, good way to get caffeinated without a little sugar, you can use my code HOMELESS15 for 15% off. And it will support the channel. So thank you guys, these things are delicious. What do you think of yerba, Juan? <sighs> Yerba's delicious too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, the old football. That one. On the best bait of all time. On oh, the best bait of all time, the whopper plopper. <laughs> I was bringing right on. The, I called it too. I was like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh man, it's a good one. Juan's Fish Tacos W, once again. Always. Hey boys and gals, uh, we had a lot of questions about why we have a whole pineapple when we're on the river. So I'm gonna take you step by step. First step, make sure you wash your hands. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna cut the top off. So you see where these like fibers are? That's the good pineapple. So you want to go just on the edge of that and just go. Try not to cut yourself. Bam, just like that. It's a much cleaner cut. Easy. Easy. And then you can like you can rip it, cut it, however you want to do it, but just go like that. Now the next step is you're going to go like this and you're going to cut right down all the way to the skin, to the skin of the pineapple. So find that, boom. And then you're going to go about, I don't know, however big bites you want. I like big bites, so like half inch. All the way down, all the way down, right? And then you go right along the skin where it is right here, this hard part, and you'll cut just like that. Oh, and then it comes right off. Yeah. Then you go like that, and do the other side. Oh, no. Oh. But look, look, now you have like a little bowl and everything. You can just, oh, just take, it, oh, take it right out. And it's just pineapple right out. Amazing. Man, I just love pineapple. Nature's sweet little treat just for you.
No way. All right. We just pulled up for our sleeping spot tonight. It is going to rain, so we got to hang the tarp somewhere over there. I don't know. Hopefully we stay dry. Very nice day on the river. <laughs> this is officially our greatest tarp setup ever. Completely rainproof. Finished with these two massive logs that we brought over here. Tied up to the tree. Our sleeping areas. Look at this pillow. Oh god. Oh god, I'm fooling. <laughs> fooling. <laughs> oh, what a nice night by the river. Oh, give us the weather forecast. Juan's Fish Doggos, JFT. It's looking a little shitty. Um, <laughs> looks like we're gonna get some rain today. Oh boy. My paddle board's oh. leaking. Let's make it home. Biggest fish of the trip on the river. You truly believe that one. Nice. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Angry. Nice. There we go. In the muddy water on that pink lemonade lateral vision collab. Sweet. See you later, bud. Nice. Gotta love that pink lemonade color. Super bright and vibrant. Gets bit. Sold. Look at their cranium. Oh! Hi. Come here, buddy. Jesus. Oh my god. I thought he was like, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh god. That little guy on the bug pee, soon to be released. Sweet. Just like the frog. Oh, dude. I know, treasure. Are you gonna share some of that with me? Let me get one of the blades, dude. One of the blades, huh? Want the, want the white one or you want the brown one? <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right. Another nice fish on our last day here on that pink lemonade wake walker. Get a release on this girl. Nice. 40 miles later and we have landed. Oh. God. I barely fucking made it. What do you guys say, JFT? My <laughs> paddle boards on life support. <laughs> It got a leak, so we just plugged it up with the air bank. <laughs> Thanks, air bank. <laughs> blow, blow up motor. Thanks, air bank. You saved us. It literally saved us. Last 10 miles, I was plugged up on that thing. Oh, this poor thing. But we did it. We did do it. 40 miles, inflatable paddle boards. We're a little toasty. Bunch we of big bass. Food. A little toasty, but. Jeez. Like a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little red. Got a little sun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, go check out the Patreon, link in the description, the Homeless School of Fishermen, where you can learn how to catch big bass like Juan's Fish Tacos, the master of the goat. You learn everything there. And Pineapple cutting, tarp setting. It's not on there yet, dude. <laughs> oh. Coming soon. Coming, coming soon. soon. Coming soon. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.